Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for this kind of opportunity. And today we're from the seventh group. We're going to present our project that is raising about water issue. And we uh, title our project as the, um, the Water O Medic. So um, we are we are coming up with this project with this um, action plan because of there is a problem going on in residence in Sarsadam here in Cambodia. Sarsadam village is uh, actually a floating village located in Puok district, and it's located nearby um, the Tongasap Lake in Cambodia. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about the um, issue, the situation uh, that happened in Cambodia. So many people do not know that mainly health of residents in Cambodia have limited access to the clean water uh, for drinking, for washing, and for cooking, but mainly for drinking. They do not have this access to a safe drinking water. Well, the fact that they have this surrounded area, the surrounded area, um, they are surrounded by the water sources, uh, especially from the Tonglesap Lake. So we're going to come to the three problems that we elaborate. The first one is uh, about the shortage of clean water. As I mentioned earlier, that this village is actually surrounded by many sources of water, especially from the Tonglesap Lake, but they still have this um, limited access to the clean water. So we're going to, uh, we, we see that the opportunity that we're, we can come up with the idea to, to tackle this problem by making this uh, action plan. The second one is about the storage of the water. This village is actually have the problem. They do not have uh, the storage that is proper to store the water during the, the rainy seasons that they are going to use this water for the dry season. It's for the long-term usage. And then the third one is the local customs. It's about the, the environmental awareness. And the, the fact that um, many people in this region, in Sarsadam village, they have this strong belief that they can directly drink the water without boiling them. They think that that water is safe to drink without the without boiling process. And then we come to the project goals. The first one is we're going to provide a water saving bags called water omatic. And then the second one we're going to reduce incidence of diarrhea and waterborne diseases. So there are problems going on in this village called Sarsadam. Um, many children in that village suffered with a waterborne diseases once or even twice in a month. They do not know that um, there are microorganisms and also uh, the bacteria that um, affect the water in that village. And then the third one is um, we're going to educate it with villagers on water sanitation so that they know exactly how to store and also how how to um, make their water become clean and then the, sec the, the second one is they I will uh, we're going to educate them about the storing the water the water filtered properly and they will have this um, proper storage of the water and then also we're going to teach them how to maintenance the water bank savings that we're going to provide to them. And then we're going to hand it over to my friend here. Hey, thank you so much, uh, this mom. Now, um, search for water is intense. In this day and age, we need a modern and reliable solution for the 21st century. We need a solution that is simple in technology, but it's central for health. Now, our solution is called the water omatic. Now, what, what this solution does is to, is to divert rainwater to a pipe, a half open pipe, to the roof of, uh, on, which is on the roof of the house, transport it to a tank over here, 
and at the point of need, you turn the tap on and you get clean water. Now, why? Why? Three problems that this solution solves. Storage, acid rain, and walking. Now, in this village, um, there is a lack of storage facilities for water for the dry season. So when, when uh, during the rainy season, you can't store water for the dry season. We are providing this for villagers. Second, acid rain. Our filter provides a um, limestone chips in the filter to neutralize the acid in the rain, provide clean and drink, drink, clean drinking water for the villagers. Third, you don't have to walk to the nearest well now, which is 500 meters away. You don't have to walk to the toilet sub lake to collect water. You just have to turn up the tap near your home and you get clean water. We are also going to provide um, education for villagers to repair the, 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 the filters themselves instead of relying on professionals. Now, also, we have a special system that prevents overflows. This system also presents um, um, additional opportunities for, for water to be diverted to, to other tanks, to additional tanks. Now, I'm going to pass the mic to my friend, Ni. Okay, I'm extra. Um, talking about the key activities in our project, there are eight main steps total from the beginning to the end. First, we need to do an in-depth research to fully understand what is going on here in Cambodia. We have really finished that. Second, we find a support by support, I mean financial, personnel and technical support. After equipping ourselves with enough resources, we, we move to the most important part of our project, which is product development. We will test, the, we will design the product, we will test it and produce it in mass scale. So after recruiting the volunteer who are going to be our communications general, we will do some marketing stuff. I mean, we are going to sell, we sell the product to our customers, so we are going to convince them. Uh, we will do a pilot test to, ins to ensure that our product is going to work well in a real life environment. So finally, we offer the product and um, keep uh, controlling and evaluating them. Uh, the time frame, um, essentially we have three phases. The first phase for pilot test, the second phase is uh, implementation in Cambodia, and next we will uh, expand it to other Asian countries. So uh, here is the cost structure of our project. Uh, in summary, with $1,050, we are going to have at least 50 households in Cambodia, which is quite cost efficient, I think. So, uh, we are very ambitious. So, how can we handle that? Please, thanks. There are the resources that we are going to rely on. Financial, human resources, and technology. So, let's take a brief look at it, and I will handle it to my friend. Hand it over. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Now, stakeholders are very important for projects, so we are going to engage governments, NGOs, and corporations. We're going to leverage our corporate social responsibility, so this, this provides a ready stream of cash for us. We're going to also apply to public grants like Echoing Green Fellowship, the um, Rolex uh, Awards for, uh, for Entrepreneurship. We're also going to utilize volunteers as communication channels. Now, these volunteers will provide um, feedback from the villagers for us, and also these volunteers, which include professionals, teachers, are going to educate these villagers uh, on boiling water and repairing these uh, machines. And these villagers, they're going to be change makers. They're going to be really good change makers because we're going to teach them how to be, um, how to um, spread the word of clean water. Next. So, what does success mean to us? In the long term, we want to start with 50 houses in Cambodia and then once it's successful, we're going to broadcast it to the world. Our, our actions will be very successful. We will be, um, we'll, after that, we'll go to the whole of Cambodia, we'll go to the whole of ASEAN after that. Second, we're going to change mindsets because, come on, let's face it, we've got to boil water in order to be healthy. You can, there's no other way, well water's bad. Third, financial sustainability. We're going to frame this in terms of an investment. This is an investment in the health of Cambodians and people in ASEAN. An investment in health increases the productivity of people which generates, which translates into economic growth. So if our project will rejuvenate the health of people in ASEAN, we're going to revitalize the health of people around the world, 
and we are going to recreate the world we want, the world we desire, and the world we deserve. Thank you.